get the privilege of visiting with Donna Irvin. She and Alabama Hannah, a smooth guy in there, uh, were our 2D Open champions at Pink Buckle 2021 held in Guthrie, Oklahoma. First of all, I think this is the coolest name I've ever heard. She, she's got huge memorable points. Uh, but tell me about your guys' history together. Yeah, I love her name too. And actually, Sue Smith gets the credit for naming her because Sue Smith's on her papers. And I think that she broke her out as a two-year-old. And then she went through a couple different owners. She was kind of sassy, a little bit immature and kind of smaller. She was a petite mare. Mm -hmm. And as a three-year-old, I ended up um, having her for a client and I'd ride her every day. And I just say to myself, I wish I could own this mare. I really do. Cause she got better every day. And we all know the ups and downs of training horses, and it's not always that way. Yes. So lo and behold, the owner, her name was Shelby Thal. Um, she wanted a, a more finished horse, and she offered me an opportunity to buy her. So I didn't really think twice about that. So I've had her since she's three, and um, she's just a joy. So much fun to ride. Like I said, gets better every day. But the funny thing about her is she has a huge motor as a as a maturity horse so she was kind of up and down you know going by her barrels got got her gas pedal stuck quite a bit so I didn't take her last year to the pink buckle but when you guys added that derby I just put that on my to-do list for this year to get her there and enter her and I just think that's really neat that there is a derby mm -hmm. now because there's so many horses like her that were maybe late to mature and they have an opportunity to shine there in the Derby. And I totally enjoyed watching both the Futurity horses and the Derby horses. And that's what's so cool about the Pink Buckle because you get to see the different really well-bred horses and where they are in their, I call it freshman, sophomore and junior year. And it's a lot of fun. I, I completely agree. I would love to know and get to know you more outside of the arena, Donna. What, what is your background and what is your history? Well, thank you. Um, I've been lucky. I'm one of those people that have got to have, have a career doing what I love. And that's in the horse industry. And I spent 27 years at Blackhawk College in Illinois. And they have a premier equine program there. So every day I got to work with college students that were very much like me when I was a young lady, had a passion for the industry, had a passion for horses. Mm -hmm. And I trained riders and trained them to be good horse men and horse women. And I coached our intercollegiate riding team. So in the summer, I would focus on me, which, which my passion was barrel racing, mm -hmm. and also had an opportunity to work with my best friend and mentor, Sharon Camarillo, doing clinics. So in 2017, I had a chance to retire early from my career, which I loved. And really, I call it redirect my life to follow my dreams, which is teaching clinics with Sharon. We teach clinics nationally and internationally, train my own select few barrel horses, and also work with clients individually. So that's what I do. And that's how Hannah crossed my paths when I was out in California. Um, so I travel a lot. Like right now I'm in Illinois. That's my home base right near the college. And I spend about a month here in the fall. And I'm leaving actually tomorrow to go to Colorado and then winter in Arizona and summer in California. So I'm getting to really live the dream and um, go to events like the Pink Buckle which were typically during my school year that I couldn't go to. That is such a wonderful summary. And I love that you are getting to travel and experience those places that you always wanted to. My final question for you is with you being a teacher, teaching clinics, teaching college students, what was the best piece of horsemanship advice that you felt you could give your students? I think um, being patient. You know, we, we want everything and we want it now, especially in today's society. And um, the beauty of the horse is they kind of tell you when they're ready. And there's so many lessons to learn from the horse. And I think that the more people immerse themselves in that with good education, 
focus on a foundation every day, strive to learn something new or get a little better. Just like today, I was telling you about Zoom for me, this is new. And it's amazing where your life can take you. And that example is like shining through this week for me with this big win on this mare. I mean, I'm just so thrilled to have a buckle and a saddle and the great payouts that the pink buckle has. And even the opportunity to network. And uh, there were some of our students down there too at the pink buckle. So um, I think just, you know, doing your due diligence, having your goals, being patient mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, don't ever, don't ever second guess them, you know, every day, make a little choice that takes you towards that goal. And it's amazing where you can go. That's so well said, Donna. Thank you for sharing that wisdom. Congratulations on a wonderful week. We're thrilled that you came and we can't wait to see what you guys do next year. Thank you.